Hey, what's going on? This is sort of a follow-up video to one of my other ones about gaming on the MacBook Pro. And I'm going to show you guys my settings here. Uh, this one I'm going to be flying in more of a rural areas and not so much in a dense city. So my settings are going to be much higher than in the other video I have. And so um, pretty much trying to max out the settings for the best graphics performance that I can get. Uh, as you can see, I'm just going through all my settings here in the different categories, and you can compare them to my other video if you want. Uh, I'll post a link to that in this video or on the side, and my computer specs will be on the side as well. Again, it's a 13-inch MacBook Pro that I'm playing Flight Simulator 10 on here. I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of different areas that I'm going to be flying in and see how well the graphics perform. So right now I'm in a beach craft about to take off in Pensacola, Florida. And I'm not a pilot or anything, I'm just showing you guys the graphic performance on the 13 inch MacBook Pro in Flight Simulator 10. So you guys can just watch the videos here and I'll stay quiet. So now I'm in a Boeing 747 taking off from Sydney, Australia. And in this one I took off a little bit early, but again, I'm not a pilot or anything. Just showing you guys how well games perform on the MacBook Pro. And for the most part, it's very smooth playing. Um, there's some parts of it where you'll get a little choppiness, but it's it performs very well on the MacBook Pro.
Okay, so right now I am in a Beaver seaplane taking off from Roach Harbor, Washington. And as you can see in this part is where it kind of got a little choppy, but it's performing still pretty good in my opinion. And this game is very playable on the MacBook Pro, and it's a very graphic intense game. So it shows that the MacBook Pro is pretty good for gaming. Alright, so this has been gaming on a 13-inch MacBook Pro playing Microsoft Flight Simulator 10. Thanks for watching.